Let's take a look at the top 5 rookies for UAP Season 86. Number 5 is Reinhard Humamoy. The lefty guard will have significant minutes in the backcourt for NU since I believe he's just too talented. In his lone year with the NU Bullpups, he averaged 18.1 points, 9.7 rebounds, 6.9 assists, and 2.8 steals. That's an all-around guard and a threat on the court and makes him a dark horse Rookie of the Year candidate. Number 4 is Janelle Policarpio of the DLSU Green Archers. Policarpio has shown in the summer leagues that he is a Swiss Army knife that is serviceable on both offense and defense. He doesn't have much weaknesses to his game and that's why I believe Coach Topex will find some playing time for him in his rookie year. Number 3 is the high flyer of USD and SJ Moore. Moore has been electrifying in the NCAA juniors and was nightly highlight reel whenever his team would have a game. Since USD is in rebuilding mode, expect SJ to rack up a lot of minutes and be able to contribute immediately for the Growling Tigers. Number 2 is Mason Amos of the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Mason is a 6 foot 7 forward, is a flamethrower from downtown. There's a reason why Coach Chot Reyes brought him in the seniors lineup, and that's because you can't keep a shooter like him on the sidelines. And it's a legit big man at 6'7. Ateneo will be expecting him to stretch the defense and put up some points on the board now that majority of the shot makers has left the nest. And number one is Francis Lopez of the University of the Fighting Maroons. Lopez is a favorite amongst all the fans and media to become Rookie of the Year and the body of work he did during the summer just proved just that. With an improved jump shot and lethal slashing ability, Lopez will be one of the favorite options to coach Gold once the season rolls around. Those are my top 5 rookies to watch for UAP Season 86. Let me know in the comments if I miss out on anyone. And once again, this is Nico. Peace.